Kelly Key. Since this is my first vlog, I thought I'd just introduce myself. So my name is Kiana Moody. I go to Academy of Art University in San Francisco and I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. The reason I started this vlog is because I have a passion for hair and I just like to share my hair journey with all of you. So as you can see, I have this little nappy bun thing going on and that is because I did a twist out or braid out. Yeah, I braid out on it like four days ago and it lasted all the way up until like yesterday and I woke up late this morning so all I could really do was put it into this bun. So that's where this happened. So I'm going to go get in the shower so that you guys could see my actual hair texture without any product in it and I'll be right back. So here it is. All big and wet and dripping on my neck. It's kind of cold actually. Alright, so... I just got out of the shower and I normally don't shampoo my hair like I shampoo my hair like maybe once every two months I usually use a co-wash instead of a shampoo but today I decided to shampoo my hair and I use Shea Moisture for the shampoo and for the conditioner as well so I put my hair into four sections one two then I split these two and four and then I condition them one by one and wash them one by one and put them into four ponytails and just let them sit while I'm in the shower and since I don't have a hair dryer I just let the heat from the shower try to get the moisture back into my hair that the shampoo took away so yeah that was that I believe that I have a sort of a 3C texture in the front and more like a 4C texture in the back and in the middle is just kind of whatever in there. I mean, sometimes it's not curly at all. Sometimes it's just pure fro. So yeah, I don't really have a product that I use every day, like as a leave-in. But I mean, there's a, I use all different types of stuff. I use Miel. I, I use Cantu. I use um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So it's like a variety. I don't really have a favorite product yet. But that's what I'm here for so tune in next week I'll be doing a tutorial on Bantu knots if you have any questions comments or concerns be sure to leave a little message down below I'd be happy to hear from you